Kitchen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to assign color to your data in Google Earth Engine. Because until now, we have been working with um, black and white images and um, assigning it a grayscale. And also to the vector, we did not assign a color, so it came out um, in black. So let me show you how to um, assign some color to your data. So this is the code that we were working in the previous video. So um, we had imported a vector data set of counties in North Carolina. We had in, uh, brought the data set of the SRTM and selected the band elevation. Um, we did a filter where we only selected a county within North Carolina and um, used that county to clip the DEM data set, the elevation data set. Um, we create a map where the center is in, um, in Asheville and then we add the layer of the elevation for only the county and where we only present the minimum value of uh, the values that go from the from 600 to 1200 in elevation and we also the add the add layer um, of the county so let me run it so you can see it so see we have the the county um, vector and we have the DEM so let's assign some color to that to that DEM, and um, let's go to Color Brewer. And you can get this uh, website by just typing Color Brewer to dot org. And we're going to select here within the data sets that we can select. Let's select diverging. So initially you will see sequential, and you can select diverging. And I'm gonna select the highest number of diverging classes. And I'm going to select a color that it's uh, friendly to um, colorblind, like this one. You can verify that it says here. Yeah, 11 class is colorblind friendly. And um, maybe you don't see this here. You might see it like this. We go to export and then we copy this where it says JavaScript. And then we go over here. Right now we're working on the video two code. Um, I'm just gonna make a change. I'm just gonna add this line here. I'm gonna call it bar spectral equals, and I'm just gonna give it that array. And now you can see that it has changed. So I can go save as, and um, I'm just gonna name it video three. Okay. So I'm going to go to now to the place where it says map at layer and see you have min and you have max and then I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to write palette and then a column and then I'm going to give the spectral values. Let me um, put the two forward slashes here so this line doesn't run it's not red so I'm just gonna click run and we can see that we have some color now where the highest values get the blue and the lowest values get the red so you can see it's, it's the same order as this the lowest uh, values are the reds and the highest values are the blues okay but let's say you wanted to reverse that um, that the lowest values are the blues. So one thing that we can do is do a little bit of JavaScript. And what we're gonna do is reverse the array. Um, one thing that I can do is uh, call spectral again. And well, actually we can do it right here. Let's go ahead and put it here. So one thing that I can do is go where I put the palette and put dot reverse. Great, so you can see this is a JavaScript uh, function, and some most JavaScript functions will work here, but some will not. But um, this I already have tested it, and it works. So I'm gonna run it, and you should see that the that the lower areas now have blue, and the higher have um, red. So I have reversed the order of the of the colors. Okay, so now let's give some color to the vectors. Um, I'm gonna annotate 
the part that calls for the for showing the raster I'm just gonna show the county right now if I run it it should come out um, in black and um, the way to to assign color to a vector I'm just gonna assign one color right now it's again for for making colorful maps I wouldn't use Google Earth Engine Google Earth Engine is really um, the beauty is for doing analyses but it's good to put some color just to make uh, things nicer and, and, and to be able to visualize. Um, so I'm going to put the curly brackets and I'm going to put color um, column and then I can just give it a, a, a name color just that I know. You can put color values in different uh, formats but I'm just, I just know that an, a word like this is going to be interpreted correctly. So let's run it. And now you can see that um, I have given color to a vector. Hope you have enjoyed this.